If you're following this channel for a while now, you already know that there is areas in drumming that I love to work on. Some of them are developing double bass, polyrhythm, use of odd numbers and I've just created exercises to work on them all at the same time. I practiced them the last two weeks so I wanted to share what I came up with and how it sounds. In this video I'm gonna explain how I'm creating double bass polyrhythm with groups of 3, 5s and 7s and their development on the drum kit. And at the end I'll do some analyze of two metal songs that use double bass polyrhythms. Hi everyone, I'm Lucas, a 27 years old French drummer and you are watching the 17th episode of Road to Pro Drumming. I already covered what's the polyrhythm in a previous video, but I'm gonna make a quick recap. So basically a polyrhythm in drumming is made out of two or more rhythm that are different length. For example, one pattern with three quarter note length and one pattern with two quarter note length. The superposition of both rhythms creates a new pattern with a polyrhythm shape that lasts longer than each previous rhythm. In this video, one of the pattern will always be a back beat with a hi-hat played on eighth note and the other one will be played with my feet so it'll create a polyrhythm groove. I wanted to work on specific patterns to develop both feet so I choose to only work with odd grouping patterns so that can be reversible from one leg to the other. That means the first group will start with the right foot, the second one with the left foot, then back to the right foot and so on. Let's start with groups of three, but three what? Quarter notes, triplet, 30 second notes. I chose to work on 16th notes groups, so that means whatever pattern I'm playing, it's gonna repeat every three 16th notes. If I create a group where I'll play only the first 16th note, it'll be notated like this. So putting groups of three next to each other will look like this, and this is the final result if I had the back beat on top. Remember that I want the group to be switching between both legs, so the first one is played with my right foot and the second one is played with my left. We can see that the full pattern repeats after six quarter notes or three bars of 4-4. Four, four. That's a nice start, but not really useful to develop double bass. What happens if I choose to play the 3 16th note, so right, left, right, then the reverse, left, right, left. If we put the groups next to each other now, it's just gonna look like I'm playing constant 16th notes with the double bass and we're not gonna hear any polyrhythm. So I decided to remove the last 16th note of each group. Now we just have right, left, rest and then left, right, rest. Let's try it with the back beat on top and now we have a polyrhythm that reset every 6 quarter note or 3 bars of 4-4. Four, four. Let's make another example in my group of 3 16th notes. Having this group in 16th notes doesn't mean I need to play at a 16th note rate. Here's an example with two 30 second notes, a 16th note and a rest, and the total duration of this pattern is equivalent to 3 16th notes. I worked on it alternating right, left, right, and then left, right, left, like in the previous examples. Here's the notation with the back beat on top and still the pattern reset after six quarter notes or Three bars of 4-4. Four, four. Still here after this long start with groups of 3, let's go further with groups of 5.
So we worked with a group of three 16th notes and now we're gonna have more possibilities with groups of five 16th notes. As for the first example we've seen, I'm gonna play only the first note of each group, alternating between my right foot and my left foot with the back beat on top. This gives us the polyrhythm shape that we are creating and you can see this time that the full pattern reset after 10 quarter notes or 5 bars of 4-4. Four four. Let's now play the first 4 16th note of each group, so right, left, right, left, rest and then the reverse, left, right, left, right, rest. Played with our backbeat, the shape of the polyrhythm doesn't change, it's still resetting after 10 quarter notes or 5 bars of 4-4. Four four. This grouping is starting to be a good double bass exercise and with the alternating foot, the right foot is always playing on the downbeat and the ends while the left foot is playing on the E's and the A's. Two more examples with groups of five, one with the pattern right, rest, right, left, rest, that reverse into left, rest, left, right, rest. And another one with four 30 second notes, two 16th notes and a rest. Of course, there's a lot of other groups of five that can be created. If you want to share another one, please go for it in the comments. But for now, we're going to groups of seven. So now we have seven 16th notes to work with. Like for groups of three and five, I'm gonna play only the first note of each group with the backbeat to give us the polyrhythm shape. As you may guess it, now the complete patterns reset after 14 quarter notes or 7 bars of 4-4. Four four. Let's now do a pattern with right, left, right, left, right, left, rest, left, right, left, right, left, right, rest. Really good exercise to develop the double bass consistency, precision and speed. And all of this while doing advanced polyrhythm to expand our capacity to control each limb. One last example with the group of seven, the pattern this time is right, left, right, rest, right, left, rest, that reverse into left, right, left, rest, left, right, rest. I'll let you create other patterns if you want or work on the ones I've presented you. They're all transcribed in the PDF, link is in the description. And if you want to go even deeper and create more complex groove, you can check my Rosetta Stone video, take some system that I've presented there and then add it to the double bass polyrhythms. Let's now have a look on how those double bass polyrhythms are applied to some metal songs.
one of the most famous track for double bass polyrhythm. This tune is full of different patterns and some are really advanced. Let's have a look at the first groove here and try to figure out what's the pattern that repeats over and over. We can see we always have two 30 second notes, then two 16th notes and this is repeating. So even if we have four notes played, this is still a group of three 16th notes. Like we saw previously, this complete pattern will reset after 3 bars of 4-4 and this is how it sounds at a slower tempo. Later in the chart we can see a similar pattern, but this time it's two 30 second notes followed by four 16th notes. The total length of this pattern is five 16th notes and we already saw that this reset after five bars or four four. There's a lot of over double bass polyrhythm in this track, but let's check another song. There is two really interesting polyrhythm in this song and the first one can be heard from the intro. Looking at the chart we can see that the ride is played every quarter note and on the bass drum we played three triplets then a rest. So this is a four triplets groove and it resets every 4-4 four, four bar. Here's how it sounds slower. And finally, there's another polyrhythm that is played just before the first verse and I'm gonna give you some time for you to try to find it. Have you seen it? There it is, a 13 eighth notes long pattern with the double bass. You may have guessed it, it reset after 13 bars of 4-4. Four four. Here's how it sounds at a slower tempo. That was a lot of polyrhythm to see in this video. Thanks everyone for staying this entire time. And remember that all the description of the pattern I've talked about are available in the description. I feel like all those exercises and songs practicing are helping me to develop my double bass playing. So I would recommend give it a try if you feel ready to dive into polyrhythms. Have a wonderful day everyone and I'll see you in two weeks for the 18th episode of Road to Pro Drumming.